Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a voiceover in ages, so please forgive me if I'm just a little rusty. So I'm going to do a Halloween tutorial today and I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with my Tarte Shape Tape. And I always do this step, so it's nothing new. I'm now going to take my Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette and I'm going to take the color China White and I'm going to use this to set down that concealer just so it doesn't crease and I can blend eyeshadow over it later on. You can just use a face powder for this, it doesn't have to be an eyeshadow. And I'm going to take this Morphe palette, I will have everything listed down below because I can't remember off the top of my head. And I'm using that light pink as a transition. It wasn't really showing up, so I did grab this pink as well, just to start building up that color, just so you know it all blends better later on. I'm going back in with my Beauty Killer palette and I'm taking the color Star Power, which is this really bright pink. At this point, I'm just really building up color. So a lot of applying and then re-blending. Going back in with the Morphe palette, I'm using that one just to deepen up the crease a little bit. I realized that I was doing a cut crease and I ended up like taking all this blending out by covering it with concealer. That just shows that I'm not that great at cut creases. I haven't done one in such a long time. So it was a little bit, yeah, new to me again. So I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape again and I'm just cutting my crease. You can see I've covered like all my work and I'm taking the color Princess and I'm going to set that cut crease with that color. And after I've done that, I'm just going around the edges and cleaning it up with a little bit of pink shadow. And now I'm just doing exactly the same to the other eye. I ended up taking a black shadow from the Morphe palette as well and I decided I just wanted to create a little bit more dimension to the look. So I'm just bringing that down in the T-duct area and just kind of like above my fake crease just to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, scary I guess. <laughs> I'm now going to take my Morphe gel liner in the color Slate and I'm just going to do a huge kind of cat eye, cat wing, like as big as you can think, that's what I'm going to do. Um, just so it really goes with this huge kind of cut crease I've got on my eye. And then I'm just going to clean that up with some micellar water, put on some mascara, and then I just put on some lashes that I got from Shop Miss A and they were only $1. Now we're going to start on the face makeup and I'm going to use my Ulta 3 primer. So these steps are really not necessary. You can do whatever base you please. I'm also going to use this Astralis kind of strobing liquid and I just felt like I wanted to be like an Instagram girl. So that's why I'm using it, but it actually does give a really beautiful glow to the skin. But yeah, it was kind of like an unnecessary step. And I'm going to use this NYX Total Control um, foundation. Not sure how I feel about it, but I was just mixing two colors together. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. I just, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it yet. And I also got some in my eyelash and I had no idea. To conceal and highlight, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm putting this under my eyes, chin, around my mouth, around my nose and forehead. I did blend this out and I felt like it wasn't very smooth with this foundation, so I did end up grabbing my Mud Cover Up Concealer and putting that on top and just kind of layering it up just so it would blend a little better. I'm just letting you guys know that this look was completely experimental, like I had no plan. I just started doing my makeup and I just wanted to play around. I don't really like doing Halloween tutorials. I just don't think I'm that great at them. So yeah, I'm just playing around um, and yeah, learning how to do some Halloween makeup. I'm just using my Astralis Banana Powder. I always use this. I'm just putting this under my eyes and a little bit like on my chin and around my mouth. I just feel like it highlights my face very nicely. And I'm using my Savvy Natural Finish Press Powder. And when I was putting this on, it started to look a little bit patchy and that's what made me think that maybe it was the foundation that was making it look patchy because that powder always looks great. And I'm taking my Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light and I'm just bronzing up my face. 
I'm going back in with my Beauty Killer palette. I'm taking the color Star Power and I'm going to contour my face with this pink shade. So I'm doing like my cheekbone area and also like on the sides of my neck. I also do do my collarbone as well. Just kind of like chiseling out my face with a pink shadow, I guess. Until you look like you're sunburnt, you're doing it right. And I'm just doing my nose as well. And I grabbed my Morphe palette again, just to really chisel out those cheeks and create a little bit of dimension. I also did clean up my nose contour a little bit with some translucent powder and taking my ABH Sun Dipped Highlighting Palette, I'm just using the pink shade to highlight my face. I'm going a little heavy handed just so it's really glowy and I don't know, just cause I wanted to, no rhyme or reason. So for the lower lash line, I'm taking Star Power again. I feel like this is definitely the star of the show today and I'm blending that quite low. I'm also taking that Morphe palette again with that kind of dark hot pink and I'm just kind of creating a little bit more um, sunkenness in the eyes. Don't ask me why I didn't do mascara on the lower lashes. I think I kind of forgot. Um, now I'm taking a Too Faced sketch marker liner and I'm just kind of trying to do veins maybe. I just wanted it to kind of look a little bit scary but it's kind of still cute and I'm taking one of the NYX Vivid Bright liners as well and I'm just creating a bit of more texture to the eye. I'm so bad at explaining, I just hate doing voiceovers. Um, and I'm using a Jeffree Star liquid lip in the color Rose Matter. And then I tried to kind of point out my lips and then I started to look like a clown. So I wiped most of that away and went over with the Vivid Brights liner again and did kind of the same effect as I did under the eyes. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I feel like this look could also be used for like an evil fairy. I hope you guys enjoyed it and appreciated me trying to do something scary. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.